this terrible moment. I wonder if I'm dead already. I'm buried alive. I piss myself like an idiot child crouching in the dirt. Knowing it's only a matter of time now before they find the trap door. Haul me, screaming up into the light. Their knives gleam. Members of the Senate, my fellow Americans, all I, I have, have, I would have given, given gladly, gladly not not to be standing here today. The greatest leader of our time has been struck down by the foulest deed of our time. John F. Kennedy told his countrymen that our national work would not be finished during the life of this administration or even, even perhaps, perhaps in our, in own our lifetime. lifetime on this planet. But, but he said, let, let us begin. begin. Today, Today, I would say to all my fellow Americans, Americans, let us, us continue. continue. talked long enough in this country about civil rights. We have talked for a hundred years, years or more. It is time now to write the next chapter in the book's law. I urge you to enact President Kennedy's civil rights bill into law so that we can, so that we can eliminate from this nation Every trace, Every trace of discrimination, of discrimination that, is that is based upon, upon race, race or color. color. cannot continue. Our, our Constitution, Constitution forbids it. The principles of our freedom forbid it. And the law I will sign tonight forbids it of us all. Thank you. And good day. Good night. Highlight of the testimony was that of Fannie Lou Hamer, the sharecropper who had been evicted from her plantation. Mr. January Chairman, 9th, 1963, and to the Credential to meet, Committee, it was the 31st of August in 1962. Yeah. And it wasn't too State long before three white men came to my state. Ordered me to lay face One down of these on the bone bed. State saying, Highway Patrol. He said, We're going, going to make wish you wish you was dead. dead. Freedom, the Freedom Democratic, Democratic Party, Party is not, is not seated, seated in this now. convention. I, I question, question America. America. 
Is this America? The land of the free and the home of the brave. Where our lives be threatened daily because people live as decent human beings. All we're asking is fair representation of this in America. Now, ladies and gentlemen, wondering. the President of the United States. Who On this day, my vice presidential ago. candidate. He did it knowing we'll that they would break away, we'll thinking he might announce who his choice of vice president was going to be. Instead, he gets up there up and he announced. To this undeterred theater for justice, the Nobel Committee of Oslo, Norway, awards our 1964. Peace prize. Your Majesty, Your Royal Highness, Mr. President, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. I, I accept, accept this award on behalf of a civil rights movement, movement peace whose death which is working to establish at a, moment a reign of freedom and a rule of justice. For only American yesterday in Alabama, in our children crying together, out for brotherhood we believe that were met the illusion with water hoses and dogs and even death. Only yesterday, yesterday in Mississippi, Mississippi Young people seeking, to seeking the right, right to vote were brutalized and murdered. And murdered. People peoples everywhere, everywhere can have, can have dignity, dignity and freedom equality, and freedom. It is very appropriate. I stand here today from this in the cradle of the Confederacy. Confederacy to remind its people of our founding fathers' goals of duty, goals long since forgotten by progressives and liberals in favor of what they call a changing world. They seek to make us one mongrel unit. tonight for the for dignity, the dignity of, man of man and, and the, the destiny of democracy. At times, history and fate meet at, at a single, single time, in a single place. So it was last week in Selma, Alabama. There, long-suffering men and women peacefully protested the denial, the denial of, of their, their rights as Americans. As Americans. But rarely in any time does an issue lay bare the secret heart of America itself. The issue of 
Glory, hallelujah, that's the glory, 